What's up, kitties? Uh, this is another episode of Common Enemies. Today, my guests are Julia Kastner and Josh Szymanski, two lovely NYC comedians. Um, today, we are talking about time and being late, as that seems to be a theme for someone. <laughs> and um, then Julia and Josh are debating uh, gummy candies versus chocolate candies. Um, enjoy the episode. Josh was extremely late. I won't be in it. <laughs> I won't be in it. That will be cut. <laughs> so, Julia, are you usually late? Honestly? Let's, let's, let's okay, right. can I just say something? Mm, let's say it. I can I, vouch. I, I have insight say, on believe the topic. Or not, okay. This whole thing is about saying something. I want to I wanna say something, and it's this. Okay. All right, cut our mic real quick. Google, <laughs> <laughs> Google Maps tells you an ETA. Now, I like to trust what people tell me. I'm a trusting person. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. told me I would get here at 1 p.m. Now, then is that, every is that time. Including, <laughs> is that including subway? Yes. This uh, is I mean, you, this is the whole trip. I'm, I swear, hand over You got to have a buffer, though. There there's has a, to be a but five here's the thing. seven There is buffer. a buffer. Now, I agree with that. I'm learning. Buffer. I am learning that. Yeah. Okay. I am learning that. However, it's. <laughs> have I learned it? No. You have not. You've yet. lived here two years? Five years. <laughs> five years. Oh my god, I forgot you lived years. for five okay, years. Okay, okay. okay, okay, but also I was coming from a meeting, okay? So it's like I had to, do you know what but I mean? But you know what they say about Nazi Germany, the train's always on time. Mm -hmm. This is a free America <laughs> and the trains are late. So trains it's either, <laughs> look, you can, it's also a choice Japan, you're making. The trains are very on time and they're kind of You either get, you know, you, you know, the, yeah. Yeah. or this. Do you want? I'm just a liberal person. Yes. Is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, and that's you're doing why you're this late. for personal freedoms. <laughs> and I'm not a Nazi. Okay? That's good. And that's why Put I'm Put it late. on the record, Julia Kastner is not a Nazi. <laughs> not, and that is why I'm late. And if I ever become on time, then you, then you should some, worry. And okay? something switched up. All right. <laughs> What's the latest you guys have ever been to something? I'm pretty punctual. Are you? I'm like you a are. little scarily punctual. I like, showed up uh, 10 minutes late to an exam. Or sorry. Oh, really? I showed up to an exam with 10 minutes left in the class. <laughs> oh, God. That's the thing where it's disrespectful that you showed up at See, all. See, and he's a That's patriot. Like, That's what he go. is. And uh, I showed up, and I was like, I mean, I'll just write in some answers. And he's like, yeah, you don't get to take this test. <laughs> and I'm like, that sucks. I'll be honest, man. That is a bummer. Oh, That's no, I can't I take the test now? What energy. am I to do? That's what happens when people come to my mic. They come. The mic starts at 4. They come at <laughs> 5. 45 and then like is there space to walk on no <laughs> like, I, I no <laughs> no i love that my okay. thing in college i took a poetry class because i went to liberal arts school that's what you do when you go to liberal arts school and mm -hmm. there was a girl that would show up probably 15 minutes before the class ended every single class and as the semester went on the professor got like more and more annoyed about this <laughs> happening and eventually she would come in and she would still try to like weigh in like she was there the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's really annoying. And eventually it got to the point where it just went, all right, if you're going to be late to every class, how about you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Did I, he say that? I swear to God, he said that too. Oh, that's amazing. And I'm a little on his side. Like you shouldn't swear at your students, but like it was every like, just don't take the class or don't go to college. If you I can't be if there. If I was going to be that late, like what are you going to gain in the last 10 minutes? I think she's just like attendance. Like I need the attendance credit. Like technically, I was there. I feel like mm. that gave her a lower grade. I oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, but I mean, I've definitely been. I'm. I'm a late person for sure. Um, but that, like, I had a teacher who was like, "You can show up as late as you want, but when you get here, you need to turn it on." Oh. And so, like, I would. But dude, I would, and I. This is. I have no problem talking about something I don't know anything about, but I'd show up to class not being filled in on anything, and I'd just <laughs> argue with all the kids who have been there the entire time, like, you don't know what you're talking about. And so just, you're a stand-up comedian? Yeah. and Just <laughs> just like, I am- I'm going to speak on something I don't really know about, guys. Let, let's, <laughs> let me tell you something right now. I did almost no research, but I'm, I'm going to talk like I have a lot of authority. Honestly, that it, it's so funny they said that, because I remember in college, there was this whole thing of like, they'd be like, oh, people who just, you know, especially they'd be like, oh, there's these bros, they come into class and they mansplain this whole topic to me. And I'm like, 
Yeah, but you're just trying to get a good grade. Like, I understand it. And also... You mean my professor? <laughs> this guy walks in, and this he's just talking like he knows stuff. This guy's talking to me like he's getting paid to, you know? I mean, he was on time, but still, okay? He's I talking just... like he went to school for 10 years about this subject. But I just Can you think believe it? I think it's funny that they were like, oh... Like, just turn it on. <laughs> Your teacher was like, look, I just want you to say something. I don't care. No, that it was like, because there are classes where just people like don't speak up. And so yeah. the fact that I would be like, I'd like ask, I'd also like ask questions and be like, and everyone else would like know that like, I just was uh, <laughs> uninformed. <laughs> but I think what I triggered was like, um, a response in the classroom where it was like kind of fuck this guy. So <laughs> I'd say oh. something wrong. They rallied and then, against like, you. Yeah, and then they'd be like, actually, <laughs> actually and I'm I like, do have something to say. And I'd be like, I didn't pay attention. Yeah, sure. I don't I have no I have no weight in this. And, and I would uh, like to imagine your professor is like, I like this kid. He has moxie. Yeah, literally. This kid has what we the need. The teacher like slipped you five bucks. He was like, you could do that every class. I was the kid that would like I really don't like silence in class. Like, I hate mm. that moment where it's like, all right, anyone have anything to say on this topic? Oh, and then it's just like five a, seconds of like, when a teacher's I'll raise bombing. My hand. Oh, yeah. oh uh, yes. Because that's what it's like in stand up, too. If you ask, if you're like, hey guys, we we dating in here, silence, silence. But yeah. then you can really sh like, one shit audible on them. cricket. You can shit on them and it's funny. Yeah. And you can't really shit on your student. That'd be funny. Oh, nobody? Just a bunch of virgins in my classroom? <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just middle school. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yes, we all are. Uh, except, except for, for <laughs> Kevin. He had a rough childhood. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's, uh, Kevin's been around, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, man. But, like, there's nothing better than a teacher trying to get real and no one <laughs> respects it. Like, there was one time where I had this English teacher in junior year of high school, and he was, like, uh, like very deeply talking about his divorce oh, and no. his custody battle oh, don't do it and uh no one can like this <laughs> people everyone's like when like, is lunch no no no. he was like sort of like getting into it <laughs> and then it was like going on for just a little bit too long and then like other side conversations started happening and i feel like any like, amount of that is too long like there's no amount of time you should be talking about your like custody you can't bring up your divorce to your student i remember i had a teacher in fifth grade i forgot how I said something about her dad. I was just like, well, what about your dad? He just goes, my dad died in a drunk driving accident. <laughs> and I was like, I'm like, just know what that is, but I know you shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, uh, oh, Mrs. Pelletier to name names. I had a- Shout uh, out Ms. Pelletier. I had a, prof I had a teacher who was real, but in the best way, because she was like this Boston, <laughs> like older woman. She would come in. Her name was Joan, and we called her Joan. Joan. We called her by her first name. Already. This was in England. She was from Boston. No, no, this was in no, no, in high school. And and I went to high school in Boston with I did Nico. Not you know didn't know that. that? No, I didn't know that. You went to high school with Nico. That changes so many things. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, <laughs> that's fucked up. Actually, that's fucked really up. fucked up. This is my coming you out. You catfish me. <laughs> I didn't catfish you. Did I? I don't know you. You British catfish me. What's a British fish? I do that fish? all the time. Is there a British fish? They don't have fish. Cod. A cod? I you codded you. me. I codded you. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> anyway, so I had this I had this teacher. She was a chemistry teacher. And the first day that two okay, so the first day she comes in, she's like, guys, this is this is how I talk. She'd be like, guys, this is the hood. You know that thing that you put the you like do experiments in and it like there's an exhaust thing. Oh, that I thought she's like took you to like Brownsville. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I know that's but she kept saying it and we were all like, is this like what you're supposed to call it? Like I don't understand. <laughs> so she's like, she's like, this is the hood, okay? We're gonna do experiments in here. You gotta turn on the exhaust so all the fumes go out so we don't die. Okay, and then she like does some other whatever. Even and then your she... women act outs are men. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, okay? But it's that... okay. It's very funny. I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> Never apologize. This is going to be my entire yeah, women career. have had a voice for long enough. Man. That's true. Okay, yeah, you know? Yeah. I give women a voice in my stand-up so that I'm allowed to be a guy <laughs> yeah. off stage. That's fair. I'm already doing my part, okay? So, mm -hmm. okay, anyway. We respect so she... that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so she goes, so so we go through the whole class, whatever, and then at the end she's like, okay, we'll do an experiment to end the class. She goes back to the hood thing, and she like does this whole thing, and there's like fumes coming out and blah, 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 and then this like guy in the back of the class goes, um, Joan, 
don't we need to turn on the exhaust thing? <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, I forgot. The most she important step. The, the, thing that the one where like, we all die. She one time goes, one time she goes, <laughs> She was like, she's like, you know, I told my husband I'm not going to the beach anymore because I'm not sucking my stomach in for nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she is a real spitfire, this joke. Oh, my there's God. nothing better to to me than like an unhinged <laughs> authority figure, mm -hmm. like someone where I think that's honestly one of my favorite parts about like growing up is like you see an adult for just someone trying their best. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, uh. Like a teacher showing up late to class. They're like dropping shit as they walk in. They're just like fucking. Um, okay. Uh, where were we guys? Yeah. And it's like. You. You, man. You. It's you. Because the, thing, you, the man. thing with a teacher is like you see them. It's the adult you see every day. And it's like the authority. They have it in the beginning. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, like if I saw the president every day, I'd probably see him crumble. I mean, especially if it was Joe Absolutely. Biden. But anyone, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you just see a person, an authority figure every day, I feel like eventually it cracks. You're going to see them leave to like have to take a shit at some yeah, point. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Everyone yeah. has to take a shit. You know, I had a teacher who, you know how you have like, they do like drug searches where everyone has to stay in the classroom. They like have dogs sniff the cars and everything. There was a dog that came up and they're like, search the car. And there's weed in it. Everyone's like, oh my God, who's gonna get caught? Who's gonna get caught with the weed? It was Mr. Melnikov. Ooh, it was my English teacher who had the weed. And uh yeah. He got fired? He did not get fired. Did not get fired. Wow. He, yeah, this was before it was legal, also. Wow. So like, yo, Falmouth High, being really progressive. <laughs> he was like, you're gonna make me read Wuthering Heights and not get high. Like, to be <laughs> fair, it was the kind of thing where like, oh yeah, absolutely. Everyone was like, duh, obviously this guy. It would be the English teacher. Yeah, of course. See, all the like Actually, not all the math teachers, not all the math teachers were cool, but a lot of the math teachers at my high school were really cool. Really? Yeah. Like, see, there was one guy who like, dude, he, he's like, how do I describe it? He's like a deadhead. He's like that kind of okay. like. A de what's a deadhead? Grateful Dead. Oh. Like hippie. Yeah. <clears throat> hippie totally hippie. knew that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> God, you got it. You really are British. Yeah. Just not. Or am How's I? your jam band or discography Or am I, knowledge? Josh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I've. How much time did you live in England for? Have you lived in America longer than you've lived in England? No. All right. Do you guys ever get in trouble for like showing up home late or anything like that? Yes. What? I, you well, I Where had a, were you? I was just out driving with my girlfriend at the time. Just like, you Ooh. know, when you're a kid and you didn't have things to do, so you just like drove around. Oh yeah. No, that's all. That's all my childhood yeah. was. So I was just like out driving with my girlfriend and my parents had gotten divorced. So I kind of thought my curfew was a little gone. You know what I mean? I was like, all right, I'm allowed to have yeah, no curfew no, I now. Mean, <laughs> you don't get to, what home am I coming to? A broken home? Is that what we're doing I don't here? think so. Yeah. Like when you said 10, when you said midnight. So it's 2 a.m. Yeah. But I also, I had an 11 p.m. curfew. I feel like it's a little early for like a 17 year old yeah, on is. like a weekend night. Uh, so I was out like 11.30, my dad called me, he's like, where the fuck are you? Like, why aren't you home right now? And I was like, oh, that's still, a, we're still doing that? I'm going to mom's house? Yeah, he's like, where, you're like, where's <laughs> oh, mom? That was, okay. That's <laughs> the best part of divorced parents, is you could say you're at the other house. It's like the, I'm at a sleepover at Nick's house, mm -hmm. but it's just your own house. I didn't yeah. know that your parents were like, divorced, divorced. Well, not like divorced, they're like friendly and everything, they're like cool. My mom moved like a mile away from my dad's okay. house, so it was like really easy. Got it. Yeah. You're like when we're learning so much about no, each no, other. But when, right? when your parents are telling you they're getting divorced, are you like, is it divorce, divorce? <laughs> divorce. You know what I mean. My parents, or yeah. <laughs> how like, how much we talk in here? Because yeah. it is. There's like weird. I feel like it can be like no talking whatsoever. Move out. Mm -hmm. My parents were like basically divorced, but stayed living in the same house because they like move. they should have been more divorced. Yeah, and yeah. then finally they told they were like, guys, we're gonna get a divorce, and we were like. Oh yes! my god! Yes! Finally! Like, wow, what? I didn't see this coming. What? <laughs> Hell yeah. Wait, so what were you doing? You were with your girlfriend. I was just driving around with my girlfriend, literally just like killing time. Yeah, like no. I, I had nothing, <laughs> nothing mischievous. My parents were definitely like worse kids behavior wise than I was. So they just assumed, mm -hmm. they're like, you're probably out snorting coke off of fucking. Jenny, whatever, and I'm like, no, I'm just yeah, yeah. Suburban Maine gets crazy, mom. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like I'm in a Toyota. That's all. That's all I have. It was a Honda, but yeah. Sorry. Close enough. Yeah, they're both Japanese cars, I think. There was one time I, I was gonna yeah. get in a lot of trouble, but I finagled my way out. Tell me about uh, the finagle. Ooh, I so I was 
past curfew. So like when you're 16 in California, at least you can only drive until 11 p.m. Oh. and then you have to be home. Um, and I had friends in the car, which you're also not allowed to do. Mm -hmm. I was speeding, did three illegal <laughs> lane changes. Good. And then had turned, a hooker in the back. Yeah, you, and then you kill the homeless guy. <laughs> and you shot. And him also, in the head. I forgot to mention, also killed. Homeless. Yeah, turned without a blinker and um, assaulted <laughs> he several said, people. He says that last. <laughs> kill the homeless guy and then turn without a blinker. Of course, yeah. made an illegal U-turn. Um, <laughs> and uh, I get pulled over by the cops, and he's like, and I'm like, and I, he was like, "Do you know what you were doing?" And I was like, "I think I was speeding." And he goes, "Man, that's." The first thing, and I was like, <laughs> "All right." Um, so I had, I did like, I'm, I got five things. Um, five things. <laughs> I got five things I'm in trouble for. Sounds like an album. Or <laughs> I since he's like, look, um, I'm not gonna give you a ticket, but I am gonna call your mom, which is like oh. so annoying. What? And honestly, the thing that, that I should was, be illegal. Yeah. Give me the ticket. You can't call my you mom. Don't to, you don't have that authority. You don't get to make me look like a bitch in front of my friends. That's that's yeah. Not just cool. be a teacher if you want to call people's moms. You All know right. what I mean? I'm not gonna give you a ticket, but I am gonna spank you. <laughs> exactly. Um. So he calls my mom. She's asleep. Oh. So he leaves a message. Oh no. Um, what was it like? Hello, this is Officer Krupke. So I actually got home. She was, or she sleeps with her phone in a different room. Oh, I get home, I delete, I like listen to the message, and I'm like, she's not gonna want to hear that. <laughs> I delete it from her phone. You had to listen to it to figure that out. Yeah, I was like, is this really? And I'm like, well, maybe you just like my haircut. Let's see if you talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I I delete it, and then like three years later, I told the whole family. I was like. I was, I think I was like a little drunk at the time and just like feeling good. And, you just, and then I, I dropped it and it's too, it's past the statute of limitations. They can't be mad. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Cause everything was, was fine. It was like, you like, it was like, I got the death stare for like a solid six Oof. hours. All right. But like, again, I know I'm scot free. It's like, are there any things that you haven't told your parents that you want to reveal on this podcast right now? Oh, that's such a great question. Oh my God. <laughs> I th I'm I'm pretty open with my parents, honestly. I have a pretty good one that I, I like. I don't because my mom probably will listen to this. Hey, mom, what's up? Uh, you think love she'd you. How's it going? Listen? She's listened to most of my podcasts. She'll wow. she'll Google my name. How many podcasts so have you been on? Like three. So not. Pretty. I'm so glad my parents don't listen to anything or oh, like yeah. they like check out on like social media and it's like oh that's that's cool. Yeah. But that's as much as it is, and I love that. So you can just clip up the stuff yeah. that, and then they'll watch that yeah. i have to think about like when i post a clip on instagram like my parents will see this oh yeah like his yeah, yeah wait tell them about what happened where your mom messaged you about the the woman oh yeah so you know mm -hmm. i was like going out with a 35 year old so woman cool. for a while so <laughs> awesome hey thank you hey shout out alex how's it going you're the, the you're coolest great. the coolest thing wait is that the one and you went through a breakup with uh i exaggerated in the joke a little bit oh. but yeah yeah, yeah. <sighs> um Oh, I had another breakup joke. That was the one about like the third date breakup. Yeah. Okay. No, that's not her. Oh, okay. Um, that was just a funny situation. Got it. Um, and my mom texted me. She's like, "Were you really dating a thirty-five-year-old woman?" And I had to just be like, "Oh God, I, no. I hate that you see these, <laughs> and I hate that you're gonna see me talk about it now." But my thing, I don't know if I've told her yet. I might have, but I went on a cross-country road trip. Uh, and I told my parents I was going with a friend. And they're like, because they really didn't want me to go. It's also during COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just went by myself and like camped out on the road the whole time. And uh, yeah, now they know I was alone the whole time. Hey. Um, hey I feel like that's honestly maybe better as far as like COVID times go. I but guess you're together. Like you're like, you're, you're, it's a pod. We were a pod mm -hmm. in a Honda Civic or we uh, would have been. I also met up with friends on the road. So I wasn't like totally alone the whole time. But okay. it's pretty cool. It was cool. It was a fun time. It, I everyone should do it. Solo road trip. Go do it. Find yourself. Oh, um, that was lovely. I loved that. It was. Nice. It was good. Yeah. Um, what else? I'm thinking like, what else does like time or like being late factor into? Well, I'll just say I feel like a <laughs> fucking. Remember. I yeah. feel like an absolute nerd with how punctual I am. Like when I, if I'm leaving for a thing and I don't want to be right on time, I like purposely leave like chores to do for right before I <laughs> wow. go. Like, all right, I normally would leave now. But I'm gonna hang up my laundry now. I am the exact opposite. It's so interesting. I'm like, I'm gonna leave it this time, and then I leave it. Well, 
Today I left at that time. I believe okay? you. All right. But in <laughs> general, all right. <laughs> I'll see the time. I'm like, okay, I can, I basically equate like the time I'm going to leave with the time I'm going to get ready. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh. I'm like, I'm going to leave <laughs> at 12.55. And then at 12.55, I put on real clothes. I brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, oh. Oh, it's oh, I'm supposed to be there now. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Unless I feel like I really have to be on time, I have a pretty strong disregard for time <laughs> as a whole. Like, I... Unless I feel like it's really important, I'm going to show up kind of whenever I feel like is good. But there's people waiting for you guys. Yeah, no, no, no. You're I leaving get, people I get waiting. I get, I get, especially now that like, like the I like, parking. I like that though. You I like, like the, you like getting, I like, I like being late and being like, <laughs> fuck, like, fucking, you like that? I love it. Why? Oh, it's God. real. It's it real. It stresses me out. It's real. You're just no. trying to feel something. Yeah, no. Oh, Some I, people I go on that. hikes. I he just that. is late. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's like, if that's my little like fucking naughty little thing, well, I feel like that's fine. When a, I like when a thing happens, even if the thing is not good. Like I told you, like that bar fight happened on oh, yeah, you guys Sunday. Yeah. A dude cut like a fucking pool stick to the eye. A yeah, you can't. Irish mobster tackled the guy into a wall. I'm like, this wasn't good, but it was something. But yeah, no, and I like. I do get it's that a thing that happened. Yeah, during the uh, this is during the like bad pan bad bad pandemic yeah. like that first summer yeah uh i was at home i was so bored mm -hmm. I, was, I was so unhappy and i went on a run and i was coming back from my run and i tripped and i was fine <laughs> but i kind of got like bloody, you're like, like news yeah i had like a bloody i had like a bloody here and like a bloody knee and i was literally the only thought was like that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> nah, something's going on. Like, now. you know, like when they're like, I, was looking... like, I can't wait to tell my parents that something happened. <laughs> like, you know, when there's like a murderer on the loose and they're looking for him, that's kind of fun because mm. the news turns into reality TV for a little bit. Mm. You're like, okay, this is like the most real TV there is. It's like yeah. something really I can talk And then you can talk about it with other people, but it doesn't directly yeah. affect you. And it's obviously sad that people got murdered, but like that's a price I'm willing to pay for a little bit of excitement it's in also, the world. It's also, as far as the news goes, it's not like just like a talking point. Mm -hmm. It's something that's actually ha it's currently happening. It's yeah, not like. Fun. I have a theory about werewolves and vampires where it would be. <laughs> Hear me out. No, of course. It would be a net negative for the world if werewolves and vampires existed in terms of like, they eat people. Some people have to live with the curse of being a werewolf or a vampire. Mm -hmm. But the mystery that it would provide the world would be so beneficial. True. To be like, watch out, there's a couple werewolves out there. That'd be nice. I'd like that. People, the gossip would be a little more uh, relevant yes. to our lives. Instead yes. of being like, oh my god, I think Casey likes Troy, be like, I think Casey's a fucking werewolf. She's gonna <laughs> you, kill she's, you. I haven't seen her in the daytime in a while. Is she a <laughs> and vampire now? And that's important news. Like or I need just to know that. So she doesn't I don't know kill if you me. guys heard Steven has turned into a ghoul. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew oh, it. I, he gargoyles I on top of the watchtower. God damn now. it. Yeah. Every night? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Every night? Mm -hmm. He's gonna miss spots. No, no days <laughs> off? <laughs> he's 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 gonna miss his ten PM covered spot, dude. Damn it. Um <laughs> the point is I want I want that. I want That's, there to be a little more mystery. That's why like I don't think Bigfoot's real, but like I wish he was. I mm -hmm. want him to be. Yeah. So I'll suspend some disbelief just for a little more mystery in my life. That's fair. Yeah. I feel that way. Okay, this is going. I feel that way about God. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not religious at all, but I do think I'm like I'd rather think or no, you know what it is? It's like I'd rather think there's something out there that's fun i don't actually believe that necessarily mm -hmm. but sometimes like a thing will happen like i'll be like oh i like run into someone after five years of not seeing them yeah. and i'm like i'd rather think this was kind of fateful this was than jesus not. Stepping why not out. yeah it doesn't change anything agreed it's just it's a glass half full glass half empty yeah. little outlook instead of meeting the person after five years and being like oh that was so random it doesn't oh. mean anything julia talking quantum to, entanglement julia talking to a priest and be like honestly I don't get your whole thing, but if God was real, that'd be crazy, right? Can you imagine that? That'd be, that'd be a little nuts, the guy's though, like, right? Uh, yeah, well, then how do you explain that I ran into Tyler, huh? <laughs> I just God. come in with a list of people I bumped into, and I'm like, do you think that means something? <laughs> this is not what this is do you for. Get, you're Jewish. 
You didn't go. You don't give me religious vibes. No, I uh, went. I'm to... not very Jewish, by the way. I love the record show. I'm, I'm well, very he's not, ashamed not, of that. Not Holy Jewish, <laughs> easy. He, that was offensive. How quickly you were like, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> it's just because in New okay. York, people get sensitive. Like people yeah. go, "You're not Jewish. Oh. Don't say that." Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's in like, Maine, uh, very Jewish. It's like you like don't have like an authenticated like Mickey Mantle rookie card or something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's a lot like being light skin short. I would have okay, to say. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know someone has a joke about that. It's yeah, weird. whatever. Is it a good... <laughs> How do you feel about that it's person? Horrible. <laughs> no, it's a good. Joke. It's it's, good uh, it's one of my favorite jokes. It is. Um, fuck, what were we talking about? <laughs> we I got totally embarrassed. Derailed. I got embarrassed. <laughs> I love life bidding people. <laughs> oh man, I love when you meet. You don't really know someone, but you've just seen their act, and you'll just be like, "Hey, how's um your boyfriend that does MMA?" And she's like, "I never told." Oh, oh God, yeah. I tell no, everyone every night. So the weird. most inner details of my life, and we've never spoken person. Exactly. So strange. Yeah, it's weird. I hate. Mm, I tell you what, I hate when someone confuses me for another person. Oh yeah. And there's like, there's like one guy who was like, "Yeah, I uh." Based on that voice, I think I know exactly. What okay, it is. hold on, hold on. We'll talk. We'll talk after. Yeah, because well, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if people. Whatever. He was like, "Yeah, I um, I saw someone, and oh I was God, expecting I a light skin short joke, and it didn't happen." And I said, "What happened to this guy?" And and then I realized <laughs> it wasn't you. And I know the guy who he's talking about. And oh. I'm like, if you ever confuse me for that guy again, I will. Punt your head. <laughs> Wait, I'm a, I typed out the name. I think it is. Yes. Can I see it? Oh, let me see it. Let me see it. Damn. Let me see it. Hell yeah. Yo, oh, that's such a good, so funny. Such a good impression. That's no, pretty good. He, immediately, I knew he, it. He enunciates everything so <laughs> precisely. <laughs> and I'm like, and it's, it's such a, especially when you're hearing something you don't want to hear mm, and someone's yeah. talking, like every, when every consonant is being hit, you're just like, Double the pain. It's like it's like the war. Th it's like they're like yeah. a you like shell shock. It's war. like it's like oh, stabbing yeah, yeah. someone slowly as opposed to just cutting their head off. I have the opposite. And then I like snap back into it. I'm like, yeah, man. Um, no, wasn't me. And I just, <laughs> it's I just the, like the dentist from Always Sunny, where he like pictures killing his neighbor. <laughs> yeah. I, had the I am a golden god. I had the opposite situation where a guy came up to me after a show. He's like an audience member. And he goes, "Hey, man, really funny." Uh. Whoever that guy was that did the autism joke, I didn't like that. And it, it was me. <laughs> oh <laughs> and I was God, like, oh no, so I wish you didn't say anything oh, now. Hilarious. My first uh, spot I ever got at uh, Greenwich Village, um, I bombed. Went up after Julio Diaz, ate shit Ooh. bad. That'll happen. Um, not like, wasn't like people hated the act, just nothing. A which disregard. Is even, yeah, just... Yeah. Went through the whole five minutes. And you know when you're going through... <laughs> a polite bomb. You're going you're through like, your act. It was a TED. I didn't want laughter. You're guys, going through your act and like in your head, you're like, oh, it's going to pop soon. Like sometimes it just yeah, takes yeah, them yeah, 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 yeah. a while and I'm going like, th I'm like three minutes in. I got this in, line in my pocket. I'm three minutes in. I like give the bah <laughs> and just nothing. And I'm like, <laughs> hmm. And then I finish the set and then some guy comes up to me after and he goes... Man, I thought it was funny. Oh, God. <laughs> like, nah. uh, uh, better run next time. Yeah. Go get them next time. The, that's the, the thing. They were the tough crowd. You don't know what they're. Tough crowd. Yeah. No, and then I was just like, and then I saw the person after me just fucking murder, and I was like, Ooh, oh, that hurts. That you know, hurts my, I actually, I will say, it was a, it was a bad crowd, but he did a good job of just like, of like yeah, she had bringing it out of him. Yeah. But, you have to bomb though sometimes to learn how to not bomb later because you go, okay, what oh, yeah. could I have done there? All right, I'm gonna come prepared next time this situation happens. I feel like I've never figured out what to change after I bomb. Really? Yeah. Like what? What? Okay. Like well, what? Okay. You bomb then what? What was your What was your thing you thought of? Like the first time I took like a real bomb was Broadway Comedy Club, and I was following um, oh, what's her name? Mexican comic, always at Broadway. Audrey Mora. Audrey Mora. And she talks about her old journey from Mexico to America and like the experience of being a Mexican person living here. And like they're really connecting with that. And it's like personal and like about her life. And I come up, I'm like 22 or 23, like this was a year or two ago. And I'm just like, so YouTube videos, am I right? Oh, okay. And they're like, we don't want any of that. Mm -hmm. You're a kid. Yeah. These are kid issues that have yeah, like yeah, she yeah. just okay. totally topped you. And so I'm like, all right, next time. If you're following someone like that, 
maybe come with a more poignant topic to start out with rather than sense. just like my dumb YouTube okay. shit. Okay, this is a good, yeah. I've never, I don't think I've ever, I've just had, I mean, also recently, I've just had a lot of crowds that are like, and they're like that for everyone. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to be, for me at least, to be like, what am I going to do? Like, did I do something wrong or was I just neutral? Could I, you know what I mean? Like, At some point you got to like, stick to your guns also. Yeah, I didn't do anything wrong. That's what I've I noticed too. Fine. Recently I've just been like, I think like sometimes it's a, when it's a bad crowd, it's so hard to stick to your guns in like, like a physical way. You yeah. know what I mean? Like to just be like, I'm going to give you exactly as, as much energy as I gave you up top when I bombed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to keep going. And if you don't accept that, whatever. But at least I tried. Yeah, I totally who's, agree. Who's great at that is Tommy Bear. Yeah. Really? So I've seen Tommy open up his like cafe show and opening up a show where people aren't sure comedy is happening. The Nook one? Yeah. That one's so, that's, that's tough. a brutal room. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough room. But I mean, it can get good, but you have to like, you have to like, twist yeah. people's arm to like yeah. get them ready for comedy mm -hmm. dude he he's good about like i'm i'm you're either gonna like this or i'm gonna continue yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like funny. that's i think that's yeah. how he was like is actually like talk to me about it or it's just like i'm gonna keep going so you either get yeah. on board or don't yeah he's like putting uh like soda like um you know, like the six ring, the the soda rings, yeah, yeah. for like the cans and everything. Uh -huh. like, he's like putting that on his face, and he's like <laughs> pretending to be like a turtle, like getting <laughs> fucked up by the environment. And people are just like, "What is going on?" And I'm just, but like, had he not done that, I don't think they would have even like paid attention because yeah. you're just at a cafe, yeah, and you're like kind of good. But like, he's good about like getting through that. Also. Yeah. People like when you have a crowd consistently coming in late and like droves during a show, nothing is a so, worse moment. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Uh, it, and people don't understand how like particular the situation has to be for like stand up to like do really well. It's, I know. It, there's a I lot of remind... things like the ceiling could be a little too high and that could ruin I know. some things. I have to remind myself of that too sometimes. I'm like, it's not even, I mean, I'm like, yeah, it was the ceiling. It, it was definitely <laughs> it the ceiling. The lighting was a little off. <laughs> The, the mic was a little low. A, a big comic, a yeah, big comic yeah. came into New York the other night, and he did like fine. I've never honestly seen him do like great. And he just comes out and he's like, "Um, the mic was a the mic was a little low tonight." Uh, and we're like, "Well, Usama Sadiqi's murdering, murdering right now, in there." So murdering. I don't but, know if it was the so mic. So Usama is a, is Usama and John Marco Cerezi are great. Can you, can you type out who it was for me? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, are great examples of people who just keep the energy high no matter what the audience is doing. Do you know him? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was interesting watching his set. It is. I I like his stuff, honestly. Me he's too. A, he's like, we're not going to name his name, no. but he's a great, very prolific comedian who's been around he for is, a long time. He is quiet, though. He is like, quiet. He's a quiet guy. And I can see how that audience, because they were loving Usama. I think the more you love Usama, the le less you're going to like gonna, him. Yeah, yeah, no. yes, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. You can't really like, yeah. There's not a ton of overlap. But that's also, this is the thing. It's like him, I've been grappling with this too. It's like, you have a certain style and people are really, some people are going to really resonate with it. But the more some people resonate with it, the less other people are going to. But that's also, you have to... You have to stick with that sometimes. Exactly, that's if what I'm you saying. kill with yeah, with every single room, you're probably generic in some way. That exactly. is a little uh, Yeah. But some people are I go to you comics and some people are you come to me comics. Well, I feel like everyone should be you come to me, no? Yeah, but some people are like, I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna okay, I got a bag of tricks. I'm gonna go and keep reaching in until I find something you guys like. I'm gonna change the radio oh, station oh, like until I you can, like it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And some yeah. people are like, no, I'm gonna do my thing. If you guys don't like it, that's fine. I don't think I could physically. I don't have enough material that I can. <laughs> <laughs> like for so long, I had a ten minutes that was like a couple goofy things, and then this whole bit on like relationships and sex. Yeah. And sometimes I'd look into the room. I'm, it's changing now, <laughs> but like I would look into the room, they and it's like it's like. It's like 10 old people and I'm like, God damn it. I wish I had a different 10. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I wish I had something else I could do, but I don't. But you, I've seen you now. You're pretty good at going to the crowd and finding something. I feel like if something's not working, you'll you think? go. I oh, think I've noticed something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks. No problem. <laughs> yeah. I used to be too much into like the like shock and what not so bad, but there was like that bit I had where it was like the mom like stealing pills at the little league game. Oh, I actually oh, I I like, like that, that bit. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're such big fans. <laughs> yeah, but like if if it's a low energy room and like they're not into like much else and then you're like 
yeah, and there's a broken family, <laughs> and the yeah. Little League games are crazy. And they never saw their mom again. And there's no <laughs> such thing as a good home. <laughs> and obviously, that's an exaggerated version of the joke, but yeah. like, they like actually, when I did the uh, Greenwich Village set, I did that did joke that as like my closer, <laughs> and they're just like... Mm, I don't think so. They were like, I want mommy and daddy to be together. <laughs> <laughs> well, she shouldn't have gotten addicted to Norco, you bitch. And then, then you get There's off stage. an opioid epidemic. <laughs> yeah. You get off stage, the guy's like, I thought it was funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love a broken home joke. Please uh, yeah, keep doing no. them. I don't have a mother or father. I was raised by wolves. I was raised by Percocets. <laughs> yeah, I was. I will for like it is never not the funniest thing ever when a very inexperienced comic gets on stage uh, at a mic and goes. They just do the trauma and then they don't do the punchline. They're just yeah. like, so I was diagnosed with cancer 13 years ago. I thought there'd be a joke. laugh there. <laughs> yeah. and, then like, like, well, and then it's like, yeah, um, <laughs> I had all of my limbs ripped off by a shark, <laughs> put together by a robot, and then I was scalped by that robot. And um, uh, now I'm here. And now I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess I guess I'm bisexual. Yeah. Everyone starts clapping. I guess I'm bionic sexual. A <laughs> hey. uh, my thing hey. about edgy jokes in general is you shouldn't think they're edgy. Really? Edgy, I mean, com edgy comics, like their whole thing is that they're kind of edgy. They probably aren't being like I'm the edgiest comic in the world. They're like I don't understand why people don't see things this way. And that's their. You mindset. mean edgy good comics? Ed, good edgy comic. Like what What's I an mean, example edgy, of a good edgy comic. Like like a Bill Hicks or something. Like he went up there and he wasn't like I'm gonna offend you people. He's like, I'm confused why you don't see the world the way I see it. I'm gonna try to explain it to you. Oh, maybe Aaron you, Berg. Is Aaron Berg? Aaron Berg. Yeah, he's a, a very similar. He's also thing. such a like prolific joke writer. Like he's, he's yeah, his good. jokes. Are, but if you go up and you're just like, I'm gonna say something that's gonna shock you, and that's like the part of it. It's like I know how much I'm gonna shock I mean, you right now. That's most like men in their mid forties doing open mics. Yeah, yes. this is. I mean that that that's the syndrome of someone who hasn't done stand up long enough. I think, yes. or is not aware enough to understand that it's like because also what you're doing there is like you're being performative. You're trying exactly. to get a reaction out of people when you're not. It's not you're a not genuine, being authentic to yourself. No, you're like trying to be someone you're not. Yeah, yeah. Because you're yeah. like, ooh, let me like. And more, no one likes more that. More like in any the situation. the trauma dump. There is <laughs> nothing, nothing in this world that I hate more than a guy whose whole set is, I'm sad and my dick sucks. <laughs> I <laughs> and my dick sucks. I don't think I've heard that. You really? You've never heard <laughs> any I comic talk out. about how they're sad and they have a little dick? No. Wow. I've heard they're sad. I haven't heard little dick. You've never heard a little dick joke? That's like or, a or, yeah, they were, or they, I can't I or like... I can't get hard. I can't or... get hard. Oh, I can't get hard. Okay. Also, like there was brought to yeah. you by Blue Chew, everyone. <laughs> Dude, I fucking wish. If I had that Blue Chew money. <laughs> What's really Blue Chew? I'm learning something. It's much. like Viagra that you like chew. <laughs> It's like an. It's like Jubal are you tablet. in? Because women think gum is hot. <laughs> it's honestly, it's a sign that like probably something's out of control because they're like, hey. Do you not get hard, but you also can't swallow pills? Yeah, blue chew. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand trying to make. Has the... porn ruined a generation of high schoolers? <laughs> blue chew. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Uh. Okay. Let's let's go to the debates. I feel like that was a solid. Um. All right. Let's duke this out. Okay. okay so yeah, you guys I have strong opinions. So you're. We're talking candy. I have mild we're talking, talking candy. Candy. And mm -hmm. you are team. Chocolate. Ch chocolate. You're team gummy. Team gummy all day. <sighs> Any opening remarks for either of you? Yeah. Uh, Sour Patch Watermelons. Uh, the defense rests their case. Uh, yeah, I'll open with this. Uh, every chocolate ever uh, beats Sour Patch. What is what is the top mm. chocolate candy? Yeah, what is the chocolate? Also, you Ooh, got that something... British chocolate. So you, you're on a really I'm different plane in America. Spoiled, you're on, you're on, that, you're on that Cadbury shit. I'm on that Cadbury. I'm on that the lint. Big eggs. I'm on that lint. Mm. Yo. Yep. Lint, lint is a little... truffle. Cho I mean, you cannot. Also, okay. Also, I... dark chocolate, I'll say, can uh, suck my ass all day long. It's bitter and horrible, from and I health, hate it. From a health perspective. Because when I'm healthy, I turn to chocolate. <laughs> from That's a what health I do. perspective, chocolate is delicious and also a great snack because it has milk in it. Milk provides calcium and protein. 
I just say, <laughs> if you want to be healthy, be healthy. Have a salad. Mm. If you want to indulge and have some candy, how about you have a real just chemical okay, so, mess in your mouth okay, that sticks your really, teeth for three hours? Yeah, no. I mean, as far as the the mouthfeel after gummy candy, it is jarring. You know it's not it's supposed not to. Good. No. You know it's not You're going to get mouth cancer. Yeah, <laughs> have obviously. A, have a treat that is... Not necessarily the healthiest thing in the world, but won't give you mouth and stomach cancer. I'll say that chocolate, it's the American spirit of candies. And chocolate is the American spirit? Uh, American spirit is a brand of cigarette that's like oh, oh, the American. organic I cigarette. Meant, I thought yeah. you meant the, our American <laughs> no, spirit. Not the American spirit. Like, yes. yeah. so, like chocolate, red wine, American I mean, spirits. Yes. It's, all, it's all in the same family. All in the same family. And I'm just saying, if you want to be an unhealthy mess, do that for a little bit just do it in moderation ah, a little bit okay but here's the thing okay chocolate you don't need to eat it in moderation you can literally you heard it here first Julie Gasser has chocolate you for meals you, you can, can eat it. as much as you want you'll never <laughs> now, get you have the a thing. real Augustus gloop in the house everyone okay sour pa- like look my okay if I if I have a kid okay and they're like I mean me 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 okay I'm like yeah, here well really disrespectful <laughs> to your child <laughs> sorry Todd. sorry okay. sorry to the child <laughs> community <laughs> sorry to, i want to apologize sorry to, to the, the child blue community. chew community <laughs> yeah okay so here's the thing kid comes home from school i'm hungry i want a snack okay stop talking like that first of all that was offensive <laughs> Shut up. sorry children. mother may i have second a snack all, please second better second of all <laughs> josh is my child um, hello third of all i'm your child you birthed me <laughs> God. That last part was weird. Mm, okay. Yeah, no. If I, the, if... I'm losing the track. Okay, okay. okay I'm sorry. Sorry. Back on the, go. Track. the point is, okay, if I give my kid the gelatin crap, okay. You're, that was English. Go on. Oh, okay. Well, English is okay. All right. I, I mean, English isn't British. <laughs> gelatin, gelatin crap. If you like, give your little chimney sweets, oh, you crap, got some, some jelly. Okay, here's the thing. Some lollies. All right, all right, okay. If I'll give him the, the gelatin thing, all right, mate. Right, Oh, he's just going to get sugar high, pass out. Okay, now we got to go to the hospital. What is that? Now, <laughs> if I give him... Okay, but if I give hospital. him... <laughs> because he passes I'm, out... I poisoned because, him. <laughs> because there was no protein in the, in the candy. <laughs> but if I give him a chocolate... Two chocolates, three chocolates. Oh, sorry, forgot about dinner. Have another chocolate. Oh my god, <laughs> this is. I'm calling Child Protective Services. No dinner for Julia's chocolates. Julia's just poisoning her diabetic child with candy. Over and over it's again. a snack. It's got milk. Oh look, have a uh, Lindor oh, truffle. Oh wait, actually, I have a funny. I, can I say a funny thing? Yeah. yeah no, you're not allowed. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Uh, so in college, I like went through. A phase, I just like wasn't hungry a lot, and so I was like, oh, I'll just have. <laughs> Are you going to tell us about an eating uh, disorder? No, 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 no. I know it sounded like that. And so, no, 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 no. No. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> no, wait, did I have one? No. Uh, mild. <laughs> Imagine. I'm Don't like, we all? No, oh. No, no. So, uh, I was like, I, ha- I just didn't have an appetite. I can't remember why. Maybe I was sick or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Anyways, the point mentally, you know, <laughs> um, they had the cho- chocolate machine. And so I was like, oh, I'll just have that because there's milk in it. Oh, as no. A- so I'd have, I had like a ton of <laughs> and then one day I did that for like way too long. And then one day my friend goes, Julia, you know there's no milk in the hot chocolate machine, right? <laughs> it's, it's powder. Just water and sugar. And I that. For some and reason my stomach hurts. So I'm all like, kids can have it. Pounds. You know what I'm saying? No, that makes that makes a lot of sense. As the mediator, I'm like, yeah, no, that that checks one out. One nil Julia. <laughs> I disagree. No. Yeah. Let's I, I what it's airtight logic. What are you going to say? I just really believe that there's a time and a place for candy. I love candy. Nerds clusters. New candy, kind of. They're great. They're fantastic. They're are, you, are you a big adult Nerd sweets clusters? guy? <sighs> More than I'd like to be. Wait, what better do you mean by than adult I used to be. Sweets. What okay. do you mean by that? Like a, an adult who like really enjoys like sweets. Like I think that's called an alcoholic. Yeah, no, that's my thing. Anytime I see an adult who's like really into candy or sweets i assume there's like something else or maybe they're trying to be yeah it's like a double yeah i was a candy kid like we definitely had candy in the house and so i was accustomed to the candy but now i i I keep myself on a regimen i'll like buy a bag of reese's uh or i'll buy oh i wonder what is reese's or or some sour patch strawberries sour patch watermelons and then I'll finish the bag, like probably pretty quickly. What was quickly. the last bag of candy you bought? 
Uh, Say it last, honestly. Honestly. It was Nerds Clusters, and I swear to God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will. I'll give that point to Josh. There is no better candy in the world than Nerd Clusters. They're nerd, great. What? You've, you've I've never had, had nerds, but I haven't. What is Nerds Clusters? They're like, you, you know, a nerd rope. No. Oh my God. See, I'm I don't, so I don't upset qualified at how little you know about the American <laughs> cultural zeitgeist. Yeah. Fuck. It makes sense, right? I wasn't here, okay? We had other things. We had Cadbury, okay? We had protests in the north, <laughs> okay? We had, we had Irish car bombs, we had not the Irish drinks, car but the bombs. events. We didn't have these fucking nerd We had the clusters. troubles, kind and, of. <laughs> the tr <laughs> Margaret Thatcher, okay? I didn't have time for little nerdsies, okay? But I need, to, I need to finish my point being, I'll buy the bag of candy, and then when I finish it, normally pretty quickly, two or three days, it's gone and I won't buy another one for like two weeks. You oh, know what I mean? Good. So I, I I get my fix and then I'm out and I don't keep it in the house. Because I will eat that candy if it's in the house. And then he comes into the club all grumpy because it wasn't a good snack and now he's having a sugar low. Yeah. And then I have to give him chocolate so that it'll feel better. She injects my insulin into me. <laughs> Is I will say... <laughs> We're I guess very we're close. Only, <laughs> I was gonna say chocolate has more diversity, but then that's getting out. But then that's outside of just the sweet. Oh realm. yes, wait. Can I have a? a, a point? I would disagree. A more point? diversity. Yeah, yeah you can so add, many different kinds of gummies. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, but wait, you wait, can wait. add chocolate to different things, but mm. I also think that's cheating because then mm. you're getting into like different meals. Then you're saying pretzels or peanut butter or something. They're doing half yeah, okay, the lifting, but, but, but you're giving a lot of credit this? to chocolate. Okay, but, but at the same time, like a take five, I qualify that as a chocolate candy, and there is a lot more going on. I don't, there even, is know lot. What, I don't even know what a take five is. I don't know any British candies because I want to name one to be like it's not a it's not a Walker Bunker or whatever. Get out of my country! <laughs> you don't belong here. I know. All right, I've um, lasted this long. Any closing statements before okay. before we go? I want to say something. Okay. Mint, hazelnut, Rocky Road. These aren't chocolate. M and M's. That is chocolate. I'm saying no, no. These are things you can put in. <laughs> I should have. Eminem is chocolate. You put <laughs> it in right. the chocolate. Amazing closing <laughs> statements from Julia, Josh. All right, any closing closing um, in Nazi Germany, the trains ran on time. <laughs> and I was late, so do with that what you will. Yeah. Um, also in Japan, the trains run very punctually. You don't need fascism. Honestly, Josh, you wait, can't, you wait are you kidding me? Japan was also fascist. Now, I mean, right now, uh -oh. the train. <laughs> Currently. Uh, history lesson. I saw a bullet train with Brad Pitt. It was fine. Um. I'm gonna have to give it to Julia just because you admitted to the Reese's pieces. Oh, that's just bad debate. Hand. That's a bad I debate out of can't stop there. I, I um, never mentioned having nerds once, yeah. mostly because I didn't know what they were. That, that's annoying. I can enjoy I chocolate already, also. I'm just saying that. Uh, plug anything you have um, before we wrap up. Uh, plug uh, our show, Kiwi Bagel, KGB Bar. Uh, April 13th is the next show. Ralph Barboza. Ralph Barboza's headlining. Exciting. Great guy. Uh, and come see me at New York Comedy Club. Uh, follow me on Instagram at World Famous Julia because the content is hype. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And also sick. Okay. And you're going to love it. Second of all, uh, you know, you go to their show and you're like, hmm, I really like that. Let me go see another one right after. Um, uh, the comedy shop uh, follow at just friends comedy we have a monthly show the next one is april 16th it's really fun uh Fantastic. the drinks are extremely expensive but the food is extremely good so there you go that's i've had their fries they're great also follow me on socials josh uh Siminski. cool uh this has been common enemies thank you very much bye-bye i love you i love you i love chocolate